Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome in. It is 516. If you're just waking up, getting ready to head out the door, we have great news for your Monday. It's beautiful outside and looks to stay that way. So we're going to check in with Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Adam. Yeah, you know, Alex, we've seen some really rough weather over yes. the weekend, but things have cleared on out. We have drier air in place and now it feels fantastic out there. Take a look at the headlines for the next few days where we're tracking bright sunny skies in the forecast today. Tonight, another cool and crisp night and then tomorrow well, slightly warmer, but still pretty nice. Now I got to show you this shot from our church point tower camera. All these little white dots you see on the screen. Those are stars, so that's how you know that it is so quiet. It is clear skies. It is beautiful out there. Great stargazing night. Our temperatures currently are in the 40s in many spots. We got 43 to start your morning off in Ville Platte, 48 in Opelousas and in Crowley and Abbeville. We're looking at our temperatures, though, taking a big jump when we get to the middle part of the day. Almost at that point in time, in some cases, 30 degrees warmer than where we are currently. So looking at lower 70s there by midday, mid 70s by 1 p.m. And this afternoon, we're looking at mid to upper 70s. You know, a few spots may even try and push 80 degrees. I don't think we get there today, but lots and lots of sunlight. Not a cloud expected in the sky today, maybe like a high cloud, but that would be about it. Going into the overnight hours, well, we have another beautiful one. Mostly clear, cool and crisp, those temperatures 40s and 50s, but our winds do start to turn around out of the south and that increases tomorrow, which means higher humidity values. Also warmer temperatures tomorrow, a better chance of hitting 80 and with those warmer conditions, a bit of cloud cover returning to the forecast. Now the good news is those clouds not producing any rain, even though there's a chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday here. It's a very low chance, not expecting a whole lot. And then our next best rain chance really comes overnight Friday and into Saturday. Most of the day Friday and the daylight hours on your Saturday look to be dry. It's just going to be at this point in time, that overnight time period that we watch for those rain chances. So here's how the next three days stack out each day, increasing those temperatures little by little, also adding in some clouds and humidity. Now by Wednesday, an isolated shower can't be ruled out, but I wouldn't worry too much about that rain chance. Same deal again on Thursday, where our temperatures reach the mid and even upper 80s. So a huge jump by the middle part of the week. There's those rain chances Friday again, mainly during the evening and overnight hours Friday and into early Saturday morning, and that sets up a really nice looking weekend there. Those temperatures Saturday and Sunday in the mid 70s with a good deal of sunlight as things stand right now. Some models try to keep a few showers in both Saturday and Sunday. We'll watch that trend in the days ahead, but right now I'm trying to be on the positive side of things and saying it all kind of clears out of here. That is the way to go, especially on a Monday, Adam. Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> 